Alright. Here we go. I hope you guys are ready for, uh... Some jank 3D. Because this is the first 3D Castlevania. And there is some... There are some things to say about Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Yo, Asian Cat, you came just in time. You'd think Cornell would be what turned me furry, but you'd be wrong. Good to know. Uh, also, hang on, let me, um, hang on, let me change, let me just move it over a little bit more to the right. There we go. There we go, that's better. Hopefully there shouldn't be- there's- uh, there's a little bit of a black bar, but it's not too bad. The only other problem is, um... Making sure that, uh... The whole entire game's on, uh, screen. There we go. Did I just see the thing for the expansion pack? Indeed you did. Which basically just increases the game's resolution. Despite the fact that I'm already running it on uh, at uh, a pretty damn high resolution because on I've got the Super HD N64, of course. Xbox One X enhanced. This is one of the few N64 games that uses the expansion pan for actual enhancements rather than as a workaround for a memory error. Well, hopefully, since I'm using this on my super legit N64 HD, there wouldn't be any, like, um... There won't be any... performance issues anyway. That's at least my hope. Fun fact, the Castle Center is one of only three levels from Castlevania 64 that Cornell doesn't visit. Good to know. But yeah, you guys get a bit used to, get used to uh, jank 3D for a while because uh, we're going to see it for a little bit. To be fair, this rendition of Bloody Tears, super cool. Also, death looking like a Christmas tree topper. <laughs> yeah, it was a rendition of Bloody Tears. At least the start of it. And with that, Dracula was once again given rise to wreak havoc on the mortal world. Proving that he was actually super right and he would always just come back. Because God knows Konami wanted to make more sequels. Ah, oh, yeah, look at those 3D skeletons! Oh god, that animations are so jank. <laughs> and now it's going to ham on that roof. And now one just straight up fell to his death. Good job. And here's our superhero, Cornell. What is this cleavage, young sir? Hey man, he just likes his uh, deep uh, V cuts. Can you blame him? Because he's a pretty anime boy, I think. Also, shout out to that one skeleton in the background who's literally just hanging out and doing nothing else. Yeah, I know, Cornell is a dude. Cornel, but I'm not sure if he's supposed to be pretty. As Blue Crescent Moon. Through magic of the ancients, this man beast warrior obtained a physical body of near immortality. 
and a power that surpasses that of a wild beast. The man-beasts, choosing to live harmoniously with humans, sealed away their enormous magical powers to prevent them from being used. However, through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing the sealed man-wolf power. After a year of traveling and ascetic training, Cornell rushed back to his village, only to find that evil spirits had set the village on fire, engulfing the village in a lotus flower of flames. I wonder he'd call it a lotus his flower, more like a burning relative, inferno. His sister Ada was carried away by the evil spirits. Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man-wolf's acute sense of smell to track the scent of his sister's blood. Reinhard Schneider. Carrie Fernandez. We go back eight years in time, before the period in which these two young warriors risked their lives battling against the devil. Now, the truth that has been shrouded in the gloom of darkness will be revealed. Time to storm Dracula's toy set castle. Alright. Before we get started, very important that I do this. Because this, with my current control steam, makes the game somewhat playable. Also, do you want sound mode stereo or... Sound mode stereo. We're going with stereo. Okay, let's head back. Now, I gotta hope to God that the game does not start with that opening, because I can't remember if it does. I do have, like, I do have my, um, test file, which is literally just the very start of the game. Uh, so I'm just gonna start a new game on normal. And I'm gonna pray to God that, uh, hopefully I will be able to skip the intro if it's the exact same, because it'll be really embarrassing if it is. I think it's... I think this game actually starts with that intro. Also, shout out to Cornell being the first furry in 1852. Okay, I can skip it at the very least. Cool. I don't want my headphone earpieces die on my old headset a while ago, so I actually had to enable mono audio for a while on my PC, which was weird. Huh. That's super weird. You know what? Shout outs to this fairy man. This man is always putting himself in danger, being so close to Dracula and just helping us out on our way. Man does a good job. God. I still stand by this- I still stand by the comment that, um... That uh, N64 games and PS1 games, if they have the right, I'm going to say, look, that their jankiness can be like a kind of interesting art style. Oh, <sighs> okay, right. So, I have a watch, I got my health, I got my gold, and my items and my status. Pretty standard stuff. I'm going to make sure that I got the right, um, control scheme right again. Yes, cool. So, hopefully with a actual PlayStation, I mean, super legit N64 modern controller, I will be able to, um, use this and my, uh, skills to the right level so I can actually play this damn game. Also, the audio is super low for some reason. There we go. At least on my end it was. Yeah, my Malaysian N64 Pro. Unfortunately, I am going to forget that the right stick, um, I mean the C buttons, uh, does not control the camera. Okay, so just to give an idea of how bought this uh, game's controls are, um, on the right, if we're using right stick annotations, up changes my battle view, which is basically my camera to make it so it stays in place. Uh, right on the C stick makes it so I pick up items. 
down on the C stick makes it so that I lock on. And then left on the C stick is, I think, place item? I'm sorry. I, I know I'm going here a lot, but I need to double check, make sure that I don't fuck, fuck this up. Um, no, item attack. That's what it is. So that's how I use my uh, sub items. Okay, and go back. There we go. So I gotta make sure that I use the right direction when I need to, and not waste all of my stuff. And thankfully, like I said, I got it in a way so that um, it actually makes sense for a controller, which is really nice. Plus, we got save points and stuff, so I won't. I will not be using save points as often in this game, if at all. Just because there's actual save points that I can use. Plus, it's more of an action-adventure game. And it doesn't have, like, lives or anything. So, it's basically just make sure I just get back to the checkpoint. Which is nice. And other than that, this is about as far as I got on my practice file. Which means everything from here and out is going to be completely, um... Uh, completely just... Blind. So, that's going to be fun. And already I can see this camera is going to be... Oh god, this camera is going to be fun. Is there at least a way that I can reorientate it? Okay, that's my werewolf button. Yeah, by the way, Cornell can turn into a werewolf. And I'm pretty sure that it uses up... Um... I'm pretty sure it uses up... Uh, my item abilities... Yeah, it does. So, that's something that I have to keep in mind. See so a device for rotating the mass. Do I wish to rotate the mass? Yes, I do. Oof, oh boy. Key. Deck key. There's, there is honestly a charm I still find with these games. I'm not gonna lie, with how old they are and how jank they look. Ooh, roast chicken. Got a uh, freaking wall chicken back. Uh, although that came from a lantern, so I'm not sure if that counts. But yeah, I, I, I have to admit, I still get, I still find it charming in a weird way. Not gonna say it's good, but it's definitely like a product of its time. Which makes it super interesting. The jumping in the original Tomb Raider is unforgivable, and I'll not let you pretend otherwise. But the thing with the jumping in Tomb Raider is it was based on kind of a grid. Which meant that you had to uh, base your jumping on the fact of, like, do you, can you, um, um, get used to the grid system. Which can be pretty hard. Unfortunately, I can't rotate my saves, which is something which is a little bit sad. Although the one cool thing about jumping in Tomb Raider is that you can eat yourself straight into the floor and a uh, hero tutorial mansion. The mansion was one of the best parts from what I understand. I've never played original Tomb Raider, if I'm being honest. Also, thank you for the power-up video game. Yes, those are still a thing. Also, gold. Which I'm not sure if that'll be useful. I'm guessing I can use that to buy something at some point. Ah! Skeletons actually persist. That's cool. You haven't missed anything. Tomb Raider sucked even before I dosanulized it. Well, there are people that will heavily disagree with you on that, but hey, it's your opinion. Okay, so, yeah, Battle View just makes it so that the camera doesn't just wig out all the time. Hmm. I remember two things about Tomb Raider, locking the butler in the freezer, and there being a giant spider boss. Also dinosaurs. I remember there were dinosaurs. That's the other thing I know about Tomb Raider. Dinosaurs appear at some point. Rude. Oh, 
Also not good. Okay, slowly drowning, not a problem. Cornell, could you please move? This is not the time to just stay here. Oh god, um, I don't know what camera mode I want. Ooh, you got some legs on you, buddy. Though, Jesus. Uh, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, camera is going to be a thing that I have to get used to. Also, screw you, buddy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Cornell, if you could just climb up. That would be great. Okay. Now I just gotta make sure that I make this. Okay. All right. Is there anything in these barrels that I want? Just some money? And jump! Okay, let's get out of here. Also, bear in mind, this is the fixed camera. Oh yeah, with the specific one, it's definitely more of a reboot. Hell, she has more personality in original. She's kind of sassy and snarky. Some would argue that her new one has per personality, it's just the, the wrong one. I also heard that Shadow of the Tomb Raider did kind of terrible. Which is, I guess, a shame. It was also not done by uh, Crystal Dynamics, it was done by a different uh, team. At IDOS, I think? I don't think I can make it over there. Ooh, I do want this roast chicken, though. And also this axe. I will take that. Okay, if you could... rotate the camera... Yeah, there's no way I could get to that. Let's just get out of this river. Oh, why, hello there! Shit, 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 shit. Get off, get off! Ow! <laughs> okay, ow! This is why I have roast chicken. And it restores 50% of my strength. Okay, well at least it's a percentage. I can- I can get behind that. I really don't want to- Yo, I actually dismembered him? That's actually kind of cool. New dismemberment tech. Actually feel like you're hitting the enemies. God, I could f I feel like I could just... I can feel like the amount of people who are like, Oh man, guys. This new Castlevania is going to be so epic. The bosses are bigger. They are 3D. Shit. Shit. Get off me, please! Wolf powers, activate! Oh, shit. Wolf powers did not help me. Wolf powers did not help me! Fuck it, just use both of my roast chickens, why not? Uh, what about my axe? Okay, I cannot use my axe while I'm in wolf form. Good to know. And, wow, wolf form does damage. Holy shit. Well, that was fun. It makes you feel like Batman. <laughs> so, if it helps, you can still open the menu and eat chicken while you're grabbed. I think I tried to. It didn't let me. So I assumed that I couldn't. Fun fact about Cornell's shockwaves. It was supposed to be a dashing punch, but they couldn't make it work. That's pretty interesting. 
Also, ow! Okay, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna chuck my axes and use my projectiles on you, because getting close is not a good plan. So, now that I've made it to this game, I have been holding this in for a while. And, to be honest, I've been holding it in for a while because we hadn't gone to the games yet that, um, needed to have this talked about. And, let's talk about Castlevania 64 and its name. And also the name of certain other Castlevania games when we get to them. But for now, I'll focus on Castlevania 64. So, when the games, some of the Castlevania games got brought to Europe, um, they changed the names, for whatever reason. Um, there was, you know, there was a multitude of different reasons, I guess, whether it's the fact they didn't like the word blood in the title, or something along those lines, I don't know. The point of the matter is, there was, like, a multitude of reasons they didn't like the fact that it was called, you know, Castlevania Bloodlines, so they changed the name. And uh, Castlevania Bloodline was, like, called New Generation. Also, if you're wondering why I'm going back, it's because apparently I missed, like, a switch or something somewhere. I'll have to just look for it while I'm trying to explain this. So, Castlevania 64 isn't actually called Castlevania 64. That's just the name everyone calls it because it makes the most sense. It's Castlevania on 64. Castlevania 64's actual name is Castlevania. Because fuck it, who needs consistency? Who needs a way to dis determine one Castlevania from another Castlevania? Ah, right. That's what it wants me to do, I think. Please knock this down. I see it moving. There we go. This is just a Tomb Raider game. It's a bitch about, um, I'm a bitch about full damage. Oh god, another boss! But yeah, this- Castlevania 64 is actually called Castlevania. Which... Is... Confusing enough on its own. Europe- Um, this is the first time this happens, by the way. And if you're in Europe, you're gonna get Castlevania as a game title... Three more times. Just Castlevania on its own. Which, by the way, is the dumbest, and is stupid. Because, like I said, fuck it, ha who wants to, like, determine Castlevania from Castlevania or from Castlevania? And, by the way, some of these reasonings are actually the dumbest reason. Like, from what I understand, the reason why they called this game Castlevania is because they wanted to make it sort of a reboot with a 3D game. So we went, fuck it, it's Castlevania. We want to market to a new audience for whatever reason. So just rename it to Castlevania. And then obviously everyone just went, screw that, just call it Castlevania 64. Weirdly enough, another game that kind of had a similar thing happen to it was Superman 64, because Superman 64's actual name is just Superman. But everyone just called it Superman 64, just to differentiate it from other titles. Also, I guess he just decided to throw a hissy fit and just run away. Cool. So, another bit of trivia. Collecting multitude, multiples of the same sample weapon powers it up. Except for the knife, which is always just the knife. So, basically what you're telling me is I should just not get the knife. Because it kind of sounds like crap. Nah, man. Reboot. Exactly. Who needs to, uh... Who needs to determine different types? I just... I... I really don't agree with the idea of, alright, we need to do, we need a new game in this series and we want to do something different with it, but we don't want to have people think they need to play five other games. Just call it the same thing again. Movies are the absolute worst when it comes to that. Also, it does seem like the knife does power up because there's a level 2 on it. Unless it, that's a Castlevania 64 thing that they fixed. 
which would not surprise me. I guess it just does increase damage. Number one, get the knife. Number two, get the knife. Number three, get the knife. Alright, James Rolf, got it. I don't even have a map, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Words engraved in the base plate says, The sage points to the right path. Well, that would be great if there was actually a sage that I could see right now. Also, these skeletons are probably just going to um, summon infinitely, which means I am just going to have to try and figure this one out on my own. At the very least, it looks like there's a switch over here. Okay. Well, yeet that knife into the ether. The mechanism to open the grating. Yes, let's activate it. God damn it. Fucking knifey spoony. Oh. It's been Oh! Hello there, friend! Jesus, I thought Cornell was supposed to be the furry, but... Here we are! This is awkward! Ow! Thank you for the power-up, though. And the weird roar. Welcome to Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, also known as Furry Dick Convention. There is literally nothing more we can do with this joke. It's just furry dick convention. <laughs> Everyone get into straight rows of fives and start yiffing. <laughs> this is what happens when you just give me a character that just turns into a werewolf. This is where the conversation in inevitably just goes. Alright, I'm gonna keep the axe. Why rows of five? <laughs> I'll leave that up to your imagination. Uh, it's not as worse as Star Fox, though. That's when the conversation gets really weird. You see a device for making hidden footholds appear. I... Okay, sure, I don't know how I know that's what it does, but I will... I will believe you, video game. Because that means that's just some other stuff to platform across. Okay, are you actually gonna make me fall down there, or... Can I just make my way across right now? Because this looks like something, but I honest to god cannot see what's down there. Down. Camera, please work with me here. Ooh! I saw the I saw the texture looked a little bit weird. Also, ow! I saw the texture looked a little bit weird on the wall. Oh shit, we Yo, we've upgraded to roast beef? Holy shit, this game really is next gen. I guess this is just a secret area. Cool. I also just realized that leather just straight up looks like a spoon. You know, I honestly was going to give this game credit for, like, the music. No, you can't swim. Why would you be able to swim? 
Oh, that was a shot and a half, my good sir. The water is poisoned, but you don't find out until several platforming sections later. In other words, they didn't want to program swimming, because... I don't know, I guess that would be too hard. Keep those state save states handy. We'll see how it goes. At the very least. I know your weakness is now just throwing tons of just random projectiles at you now. Y'all paper clips. <laughs> Save my game, I will in just a sec, as soon as I get rid of all these skeletons, and head back to the jewel. I was going to say, before that entire, um, uh, until that entire thing just happened with the merman, that, um, I was going to give this game credit for the music at the beginning. Because I'm like, oh shit, this game actually does have music. Because one of the biggest complaints this game had originally with N60, uh, with Castlevania 64 at the very least, is that um, this game was very poor when it came to its music. And you, as you can listen in the background, this game doesn't really have any music. It's just got some random ambience, which, honest to god, kind of sucks. Because, you know, when I think about Castlevania and all of the great soundtracks, I think just random sort of just ambient music in the background. Uh, right, so... Where was the secret area even? I completely forgot where it was. I kind of want that roast beef. Okay, so that, um... That bridge gives way. Was it over here? Here. No, no it wasn't. Thankfully I just saved, so that's not too bad. I could have sworn it was like... Unless it was like back here. Hmm. Yo, Cryopon! I can kind of hear some form of music in the background. It's just sort of ambient no mo noise more than anything. Guess it must have been through that way, unless I've just completely turned myself around without knowing it. This is more music than the original Forest of Silence got, though, really? Yeah, again, that's just sad. Especially for a series um, that Castlevania has with its own, uh, with, uh, with as much as um, uh, well-known music that it's got. Also, I guess I totally did- Okay, I guess I totally did go this way last time, I just didn't notice the imps, or they just didn't spawn last time. Which is intriguing. Okay. So, let's try this again. Here. This time I know that the skeletons explode, so that's something. Also, get off me. No grabby. Get the roast beef. Okay, also, this time the monsters didn't spawn, like the skeletons, so that's interesting. Okay, I can hear the merman. I can hear you.
Get, get the hell out of here. At least fight me next to this pillar so I have something to stop me getting yeeted into the river. Yeah, my, pro my projectile seems way better than my melee attack so far. Also, I'm gonna guess that these guys infinitely respawn. Yeah, they probably infinitely respawn. Right. This is gonna be... Okay, go, go, go. Cornell, please. Just climb like your life depends on it because it does. Okay, thank god. So, I could get yeeted into the abyss. If I'm not careful. Also, I thought that was a jewel, not a knife, which means I just got rid of my axe. Perfect. And I'm back here again. Okay. At least I know where I am. Oh! Hello, friend. And now I got a mosquito buzzing around me. Perfect. Just an extra real life challenge. Oh shit. Positively electrifying. And poison spewing. If I can, like, knock your head off, that would be great. Or at the very least, it would do, like, a ton of damage, which would also be great. There we go. Come on, bony boy. Show me a good time. Or just keep summoning nads. Honestly, at this point... Ooh, power up. Thank you. I was hoping that they would actually give me something like that. Finding it hard, uh, easier than the um. I'm definitely finding it easier than uh Finny fight though, because at least I actually have a place to move, and I'm not in constant fear that I'll just get knocked in the river and it'll be an instant kill or something. Also, screw your legs. That was honestly kind of a sad. That was kind of a sad ending. Can I go to my save point now, please? Okay, or I could continue. I didn't even realize this was story progress because considering it was behind a hidden wall, but... Oh. Mosquitoes in the UK, they just aren't much of a problem. Yeah. Every so often, though, they just like to buzz around to be a nuisance and problem. Oh, thank God, a save point.
Okay, guess I'm stuck here now, so screw whatever that other area led to. <laughs> Yikes! Ah, ah, shocking to find the great Cornell helpless in a place like this! Was that a lady, or was that... No, it's... You. Even a man wolf is nothing but a track dog in a cage. Ortega, you're okay. I saw the village after I was attacked. Your home was burned to the ground. Uh huh. I know. Sit tribal tats, bruh. Are you really Ortega? It has been one year since I lost to you. Huh? And Ada. Why, she has already blossomed into a beautiful woman. What are you saying? She will be a perfect sacrifice to offer Count Dracula for these powers. Oh shit, heel turn. D Dracula? Don't be a fool. According to legend, he won't come back to life for at least a hundred, hundred years. Wait, you were the one who attacked the village? Who kidnapped Ada? Have you sold your soul to the devil? You will find everything out soon enough, Cornell. Soon enough. Bye, rival character who I just met. Ortega! Salty run back? Seems like it. Also, more importantly, save point. And... Oh god, camera. And also doors. I saw, a, I saw a sun door and a moon door, so this is probably how we're going to have to progress. I'll write you... I'll let you write your own meat and tortilla jokes here. Blossomed into a beautiful world woman. Fucking cease. Get stronger, Cornell. Defeating you now would be meaningless. Even in 3D, they still have to add in those, um, those god dash gosh darn bone towers. Also bats! Honestly, playing this on a actual proper controller, instead of whatever that horrible excuse of an N60... Okay, that was close! Oof. Grab that torch down there, it's a cross. Oh, I can actually hit the torches. Oh, at least tried to hit the torches. I'll I'll get it when I go back down. I've already committed now. Nice telegraphing on that strap. Yeah. Made for an uh, interesting encounter, though, I guess I'll call it. Man, once you actually, like, switch the... Okay, well, screw you, too. Uh, when you actually switch the Bone Towers to 3D, they are way less intimidating, considering you could probably just walk around them. Okay, I can't hit those uh, torches, I guess. I do be a bitch like that, indeed. But yeah, playing this on an actual controller instead of whatever the hell that excuse of a um, N64 controller is. Jesus Christ, another boss already. Actually makes this somewhat way more playable. It definitely doesn't feel terrible. I don't know how to, like, it's obviously hard to try and explain controls because you kind of just have to, uh, take my... You kind of have to just take my word for it. Also, moon card. Also, a bunch of items. This is not the best... Okay, they do disappear. Well, that sucks. So I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to... ...fight them. Also...
What did I just pick up? Um, okay, that gets rid of poison. Purifying. That cures vampirism. Okay, cool. Uh, for now, let me just eat my meat. Oh my god, why do you give me items to pick up when I'm still in the middle of a boss fight? Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, just, uh, give me a sec. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, okay, good enough. Also, ow. Okay. Sun card, sun card, don't even know what that does. Uh, what does that do? Uh, sun card. Powerful magic moves time forward to sunrise. And I'm guessing this makes it evening? Yes, okay. From what I understand, it's not important during this, uh, during this campaign, but during the N64, uh, campaign. You don't want to make it so too many days pass, so I have no idea why would you would want to change the time of day? Unless that like changes certain things in the game, I don't know. There is a device for an opening and closing the iron bars, some words have been engraved. You must close all the open eyelids. And I don't have a lever, cool. And it doesn't look like I can get across there. Awesome! Which means I will have to come back later. Yeah, you can fuck yourself over badly by using too many cards, but sometimes you have to because there are sun and moon doors. Ah, right. So that's that's what um, the deal with that is. Okay. I'm also going to take a wild guess and save us full damage! Yes, yes there is. Okay, honestly, that's actually not too bad because... Now I can just uh, go back and keep my beef. So, I don't mind that too much actually. Go back out there and take the shortcut down. There's a shortcut. I lit. Okay. Camera, if you could, like, turn around for me, that would be great. I literally did not notice a shortcut. Where is there a shortcut? You have to kill the two bone dragons and go down the path that opens to get the lever. You. I didn't even notice there was a place that opened up. Okay, well, whatever. This time I know uh, that I probably shouldn't just stand and pick up the items, despite the fact they disappear, which kind of sucks, but I'd rather keep my health items. Alright, Dio, calm down. Okay, let me at least take out the weaker one first, so I don't have to deal with multiple dragons trying to kill me. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Ow. Just let me pick up the... Just let me pick up my shit. Ow. Damn it, you're gonna make me use this anyway, aren't you? Uh, actually, no, I still have the roast chicken. Okay, I'll do that instead. Yes, I can keep my beef. Awesome. Sweet! Okay. Oh, right, okay, so this did open up, it's just... 
Right, okay. Before I do anything, let me pick this up. Let me go through here and save. So I don't have to do the boss fight again, just in case. I'm just gonna take a leap of faith then, I guess, because I legit thought I couldn't go that way because I didn't see the thing fall down, and plus, how the hell am I- s Okay, right, I can barely see the fact that there is a fucking- barely just see the fact that there is a ledge there. Don't mind me, though. Is there another ledge? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, come on, Cornell. We can do this. Just... Okay, well, you can fall down. That's fine. Seems to be where the lever is, at the very least. Thank you. And across. Alright, cool. I will take it. Uh... Okay, one more leap down, and I'm back down here. Firmly shut door with the relief of the sun. There is engraving. Sunlight releases- Okay, right, this is what I need the finnies for. That being said, that just means I can just go into the other door for the time being. So, I'll just go into the other door. I'll come back to do the, um, puzzle later. Alright. I'll eat my chicken while I'm here also. Basically, my morning routine for 5th and 6th grade was wake up, eat breakfast, shower, then play Castlevania until it was time to leave. Man, I was never allowed to play video games before school. And when I did, it never felt like enough time. I only had, uh, until after- I only had until, uh, after school. Or... Until I... Until it uh, got to the weekend. Fucker. It's a pretty simple puzzle. One switch closes. Uh, one switch opens the gate and opens closed ones. The other one just opens gates. <sighs> okay. Yep. No, it's fine. Fucker. God damn these stupid traps. I can't even see them because of the camera. Whatever, it's fine. I am surprised it let me climb up on that. I'm not going to lie. At least make it to the top. Oh, thank you. Alright, what's behind door number two? Absolutely nothing, except a safe point. And I guess... Another winch, cool. Right, so, we'll activate this one once, and looks like it wants me to do some platforming, but first, hopefully get some more chicken. Yep, thank you. And of course, another save point. They seem to give you a lot of save points at the very least, so that's nice. And this seems to connect back to the room there where I was before, I think. I'm not entirely sure if it's the same room. I think it is. 
Yeah, this absolutely looks like the same room. Okay. So instead of blood skeletons, you got the green ones that infinitely spawn skeletons. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that seemed to be their shtick. Uh, is there anything I can get from here? Um, more pre-order fire? Oh shit, I didn't notice that was an axe. Ah! Uh, I thought that was. I thought that was another. Um, I thought that was another purifier. I need to be careful of that. That's the second time I've done something like that. Right. Okay. For the time being. I'll just use the card to uh, get back to 6 a.m. and then get then go up this uh, again. And get back my cross, because I remember you mentioning that there was a... Uh, that there was a torch that had a cross somewhere around here. Unless I completely misinterpreted uh, where that area was, but it's not super important, I guess. Or I could just get it from that. That works too. I do appreciate the he uh, hints. For the time being, I'd appreciate if you just sort of um, let me do this at my own pace. But, like, little hints like that. Those aren't, like, if it's, like, straight up telling me, like, puzzle solutions, I prefer if you didn't. But uh, if it's, like, little hints like that, I don't mind. I'll at least keep them in mind, but stuff like puzzles, I'd rather try and figure out on my own. You don't have to apologize, I'm just letting you know. For future reference. Well, even if the game tells me uh, flat out what to do, then that's even better. That means uh, it'll be even easier for me to figure them out. I have no idea how useful sub-weapons are in this game, if I'm being honest. Alright, let's do this call now. It's where to go, that isn't always clear. Oh. I guess it was the other one that I needed to activate. Well then. Um, can I even make it? No, there's no way I can make it to the other room. Shit. Ugh, I did this in the wrong order. Thankfully, okay, from what I remember for Canel's, um campaign, it doesn't matter how long it takes. So at least I have that saving grace. That being said, this is a little bit annoying, if I'm being honest. Well, whatever. Yeah, still can't get that. No way. No way, no how. <sighs> okay, I guess I have to use another one. Uh, excuse me, video game, could you please- Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just so I don't waste too much time. Good thing that, uh, Bone Dragons drop so many cards for you. I guess that's why they do it, so that you can easily, um... Uh, so that you can easily sort of just, um, make use of the fact that, uh, 
You're gonna have to do certain things at certain times. Okay, right. No trap here. Except for that. But I remembered that was coming up. Okay. Yep. Okay. I knew. I knew it. I am playing with fire here, and I do realize that. Yeah. Okay. I remember you're there. Thank God. I get so nervous when you don't grab onto the ledge. Alright, now I just gotta pray to God that this works. Oh my god, I forgot that Soul Eater Ring that increases the spawn rate of souls in 300k in an area. Someone. And that's what I was talking about earlier! Except I called it the End Ring by accident. Uh, I, I called it the uh, Rare Ring by accident, but I knew there was a. There was a I knew there was a ring that did that. I just called it the wrong name. Hey, there we go. That's what I wanted. You would need to grind for 300 uh, for for years to get 300k in Aria. Uh, there's ways where you can make good money. So I wouldn't say it's uh super taxing, but it can take um, a lot of time if you don't know the uh, methods. Like, I remember there's a soul that straight up, like, increases the amount that uh, Hammer buys stuff for you. Or, uh, buys stuff from you, I should say. Alright, I did it. Cool. Save. Did it. I've now made it into the castle. It's kind of nice every time you get through an area, it restores your health. I do like that. Time to get some more heart-pounding story. Oh shit! Well, of it, doggos. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance too. Yeah, that's it. Please get out. Out the way. Yeah, didn't know Dracula was keeping some free headed Cerberuses just around in the area. Multiple of them, in fact. Ooh, holy water. I got across, though, so I sh really shouldn't. I will take that, though. Hello. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Get out of here. Yo, man just, like, fucking yeets that cross, Jesus. You have two more levels to go before you can reach the castle. Holy water is cool this game, eh, in this game, but not exactly good. There'll probably come a time where I get to at least try it out, so... I will try it out then. God, look at these polyg- look at these polygonal ledges! That's another question I want to ask. Is there any game that you know that is just straight up, like, super jank and kind of old with its design, but you can't help but find it super charming? Here lies the lord of this mansion, or dear I. You see a switch, do you press it? Why not, I guess. I don't exactly know what it does, but... Probably something important. I should get the Curly Soul so I can get the claim, to be fair. Yeah, it is the Curly Soul that you need. 
Here lies my beloved son, Henry. Oh. Poor Henry. He tried. Even though... I think he has a different tear, Henry, actually. Tombstone is too damaged there. Cannot be read. Another switch, though. I don't even know if these are doing anything. I'm just activating switches willy-nilly. Here lies my beloved wife, Mary. It's probably a puzzle. Nothing is happening. Okay, right. It's one of these where you have to do it in a certain order. Got it. It's one of... Okay, it's one of these puzzles. Uh, that being said, I straight up don't think I have enough information to go on unless I am... Um, missing something. Let's go into the mansion first. I need to remember werewolf mode is also super uh, strong. Although, it's probably going to be one of those things that I say for, like, boss fights. And I don't even know if there's a way you can turn it off, which is kind of annoying, because it drains all of my jewels. At least I got the ambient, uh... At least I got the ambient music. Okay. Cannot turn off the werewolf mode, and I still don't know why they don't let you. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if it just turned out that they just forgot to program it in or something. Also, I don't... Mm, I think I want to check out the um, mansion before going back into the garden. Get my Resident Evil one, see if I can get something out of this. Not Grant. That oh, shit. Okay, keep him in view, Cornell. Keep him in view. Holy shit, that cross is super good, though. It'd be even better if I could see where I'm aiming. That was a very sexual dying noise. <laughs> Just, uh. Uh, door marked Rose Garden is locked. Perhaps the key for opening the Rose Garden door it lies deep within the maze. Ah. Okay, so I do need to go back outside. I will do that, not yet. Rachel. And I still got the key to the archives, which I have no idea where that is. That means I just gotta move forward for the time being. Alright, into the maze. Sorry to dip early, my guy. Weirdly tired, so I'm gonna catch some sleep. Ain't no problems, dude. I'm just thankful you showed up, regard. Uh, I'm just thankful that you showed up anyway. Two fucking Castlevania legends and. <laughs> Legacy of Darkness. Oh. No, I forgot about these enemies. <laughs> the 
part that really gets me is just they come out on like their motorcycles from the side and it's not even like super fast or intimidating. It's literally just <laughs> You know, and it's just like so slow and sad Look at him He's got a fucking side gun and a machine gun What am I looking at? What? I knew about the motorcycles, I didn't know about the machine gun. This game takes place in 1852, by the way. Sorry, no, I take it back. This part- this part of the game takes place even earlier. In like, 1845 um, or something. Castlevania is a serious franchise, gives curry to a yeti. No, I understand that, but first off, one, that's way later, and two... It's not even like this game has anything, like, particularly silly about it, randomly, like, all of a sudden. It's, it's literally, like, literally out of nowhere. The ultimate skeleton bone tech. This game is bullshit, I love it. <laughs> also, liking that Castlevania music, which... Okay, yeah, they've actually just given up now. There is no music. <sighs> okay, where am I? What am I doing here? Why are we here? Just to suffer. Ah, okay, crest half B. Right, so that's a thing I need to, uh... Hello, Mudman. Goodbye, Mudman. Okay, so I got two halves of a crest that I now know that I need to find, and... No secret wall. This is literally just a dead end. Okay, cool. And there's that entire area. Which I should probably check out. I am really having... Ah. The morning sunlight reflects off a red rose. The enclosed jewel will shall be set free. Okay, right. So, when it's morning. Got it. Dracula brought those brights at 3am and uh, Amazon stickering to himself over a glass of red. Not even vampire lords are impervious to impulse buying. Why? Also, ow! Why motorcycles? Look at it! It's so, like... Like it's, it's so non-ceremonial. That's the part that gets to me. It's the fact it just appears. No warning, no cutscene, no nothing. Yeah, that was a, that was a cool slide, um, Cornell. That would have been even cooler if you actually went underneath, but I guess not. Base Chad Vlad. <laughs> okay, now that's a proper bone tower. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah! What do we got here? Rose Garden? Rose Garden Key? Rose Garden Key! Sweet! That means I can go back to the mansion. Uh, but first I need to try and find the second half of whatever the hell that tablet I got is. No wonder Cornell is a sweet ass. He's doing those squats to pick up items. <laughs> it does seem very well defined. Also, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get back there, but I can see the underneath, which just gives me more questions. And makes me think there's a secret wall somewhere. Hmm. This 
This door is locked from the other side. Of course it is. Which means I need to head back. Not quite 6 o'clock yet, which means I will need to head back to the other area somewhat soon, but not quite. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing there. Unless there's- unless there's a way to crouch under, which I'm not, uh, not finding. I mean, I would have thought the crouch would have been enough, but I guess not. Unless there's like, I don't know, a super crouch. Also, that crouch animation is kind of funny. And really stiff looking. Die, Mudman. You don't belong in this world. Right, so whatever way haven't I tried not going yet? Um, Because I'm pretty sure there were some other directions. That was, yeah, that was where the um, thingy was. Oh! Hello! Snakes! Snakes. Why do they have to be snakes? Oh, it's about to be uh, six o'clock. Oh. I have to wait a bit longer. Okay, cool. Guess I'll do some more exploring before then. Admittedly, the joke is better with Reinhardt because he has the whip. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I also got that rose. I I do also have that rose key. Uh, that rose garden key. So that's something I have to keep in mind. I'm pretty sure that's where I found the first half of the um. Ah, fucking mosquito! Jesus. Ah, that was some nice blood you got there, buddy. Son of a bitch, still bu buzzing around. Tiny little bug vampire, pretty much. Also, that place is locked from the other side. Cool. Oh, hey, okay, no, get off, get off. No, get off, snakes. Get off. Stop imitating the, um... Mosquito I just had to deal with. Whip the mosquito. Trust me, I would if I could. Unfortunately, I do not have any whips on hand. <sighs> right, so. Uh, that's where I came from, I'm pretty sure. All I want to do right- no, that's where I came from. Okay, right, okay, that's where I came from. That way's a locked door. This way is- I don't know. Which probably means this is where I came from. Aha! Okay, here we go. So, there's a door right there, and there's also this down here. All things considered, this maze isn't super huge. Or at the very least, not on first glance. It's actually pretty straightforward. And I have the key that I got, so that's what I'm going to do for the time being. I'm going to see if that opens up the door. Then again, there's also this down here, which I don't know what there is. I sip you can when you can suck. <laughs> Truly words to live by. I've got to be honest, I don't even know if jumping makes me faster, but it feels like it does. Okay, this is where the mansion was, which means there's another gate which I haven't even um, tried out yet. 
Also, am I poisoned? I am totally poisoned. I didn't even notice. That was pur turning purple and I didn't even notice. Bunny hopping doesn't actually make you go faster. Damn. But it's so fun to do. The way you're jumping around reminds me of the few times I've tried to beat Morrowind. <laughs> Rose Garden um, key has been used. Whew, okay. I can get some more mansion exploring done at the very least. I played Khajiit, so jumping was legitimately faster, but I had to choose- Mary, I need a drink, a man's thirsty! No, stay away from me! Why do you talk to me that way, Mary? I am the lord of this annex and your husband, and I'm telling you I need a drink! Ah, oh, come on, Mary. Oh, I uh, didn't see you standing there. The wife and I have a domestic problem we're trying to work out now. I don't know what you want, but could you come back another time? Uh, I'm looking for a girl named Ada. Ada? Freak, I don't know anyone by that name. She had to have been through here, but I can I can smell her. I said I don't know her and I mean it. Anyway, I'm thirsty now. Wait a minute, you'll do just nicely. Why? Your warm blood, of course, which will wet my whistle. Oh. Uh, no. No, 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 stop. <laughs> well. It's okay, lady, I killed your husband and I stole your family savings. Door wasn't even locked, how did you? Oh, whatever. Garden key. Oh, thank you, young man. Has he left? I am Mary. I'm the wife of that... the vampire. Yes, the Mary... the, the vampire... Yes, the vampire Audrey is my husband. There was a man named Gilles de Rye and a woman... Actress? They made him what he is today. He used to be such a good man. After he became a vampire, my husband started coming after me. And even our son, Henry. Rather than become a vampire, I've even thought of taking my own life. But how could I leave little Henry behind? Can I ask you a favor, stranger? Help my little Henry escape from here. Henry is hiding near the entrance to the garden. If you go out to the east gate, you can escape by a secret path through the forest. Please take Henry as far and as this path... As far as this path... As far as this path! As a token of my gratitude, I will give you the copper key. Be careful. There are demons lurking about the garden. Take care of my son, young stranger. You are placing a lot of trust in me, considering I just murdered your husband. Yes, she was he was a vampire, don't get me wrong, but... Also, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to stare at that uh, mirror a little bit longer, because I think it was actually reflecting the room, which is super impressive for N64. So let me get out of that of you. There we go. Dormart storeroom. It is locked. Stained glass window enemy. I have to admit, that actually looks somewhat unique. Huh. Get out of here, ghost. Right, nothing here unless I can do something with this mask. Or get some roast chicken. Okay, I'll take that too. Storm key, perfect. 
Just what I needed. And then this right here, which will lead me downstairs. But first, storeroom. Roast chicken. Purify- wow, okay, they straight up just have like tons of stuff just hidden in everything, huh? Including ghosts. Annoying, annoying ghosts. Yeah, okay, I'm out of here. I want to go to the storeroom. There's more of them. Good game. Hey, you gave me chicken at a save point. I'll take it. Now I got a save point that I can come back to in case I die, which I hopefully won't. Especially with my powered up ranged attack, which is super strong. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, dining room? Yeah, this- yeah, this game is actually doing reflections, which is- yeah, again, that is super impressive for, um... Uh, for an N64 game. Because it's literally having to render the room twice. Archive. Archive key has been used. Here we go. The words are scrawled in messy handwriting. The cover is signed. G.A. Aldry, this diary must belong to the master of the residence. Oh, the world of death is fantastic. I must tell my family of this wonderful feeling. My lovely wife Mary will be next, then our little Henry, and anyone else who drops by to visit. I must prepare all of their gravestones. Oh, great and powerful Dracula, I pledge to be your servant forever. Right, okay, understood. Many books, none that appear useful. Right, okay. So, old man, Mary, little Henry, and then the unmarked gravestone. I understand. With 3.35 3, uh, in 14, they're adding 180 new plots of land within four districts. Damn. I actually get a house in that regard then. Yeah, and I'll be gone within a week, probably. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can live your stained glass existence. I'm gonna try and see what's down here. Also just realized I missed morning. Crap. So hello note. Also, very suspicious looking armor in the background. It seems to be a contract, but it is so hard to read. Pray excuse me, but have you seen a scroll we're hereabouts? Ah, that's it. I thank you dearly. This is important to my business. Forgive my rudeness. My name is Renan. I am what you'd call a demon. At least you're upfront about it. Wait, wait. I am not an enemy. My role is to provide useful items for adventurers to the Dark Castle. It is shameful for a demon to be working, but one needs gold even in hell these days. Why, I know that feeling. Surely we were fated to meet. Whenever the need arises, use the scroll to summon me. Okay. Dear me, is that the time? We have talked for too long. Remember, summon me whenever you need. I must go now. Shoo. Good talk, Cornell. Contract. And then this is where- ah, this is where I buy my items. Cool. Um, 
Um, sun card, moon card, healing kit. How much are these? 4,000 gold for a healing kit. How much for roast beef? 3,000 gold. I'm not- I'm, I'll get one more roast beef for now, and then I'll keep the rest of my money for the time being, just in case. And then save point. Your inventory caps out at 10 of each item. That's good to know. I mean, the Grand Canyon of Cleavage on Cornell is high on the list, but I am a sad sucker for mysterious devilish shopkeeps. Noted. And then this brings us back out to the garden. Okay. Oh, is this the, um, is this the other side? The maze garden key has been used. This is- Ah, this is here. Okay. Right. Okay. I know where I am. Um. At least I think I do. I haven't been down here, though. Well, there's not much to see, apparently. However, the water is not poisoned, which I do appreciate. Oh! That is a Frankenstein monster with a chainsaw! That is the other stupid enemy I remember seeing in this game. That's the gardener? He's not- he's doing a real shit job. I smell a child. A human child. I have found said human child. Are you Henry? My father, he, he went mad and Mama is. She told me to run away. I don't know what to do. My name is Cornell. Your mother asked me to help you escape from here. You talk to Mama? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I'll set you free. We will escape from the city. Henry's rescue attempt. Henry tags along behind Cornell. Try to lead Henry to the goal. Be careful that Henry does not receive too much debt. Oh, great. Crap. When Henry is attacked by demons, his health gauge at the bottom of the screen drops. If Henry's health gauge drops to zero, he dies and it's game over. Henry's health gauge cannot be restored. Man does not like his meat. If the distance between Cornell and Henry grows too big, Henry will be unable to follow Cornell. Note, Henry can't climb high land formations. If you lose sight of Henry, follow the arrow on the screen to find him. Message at the door during Henry's rescue, I cannot leave Henry behind. During this event, only, use the look around to display Henry's view. Oh great, this is gonna be a thing. Can I at least kill? Okay, I can only- right, I can only, um... You must help Henry escape, that is more important right now. Shit. Okay, so I can only stun him. If I'm guessing. It does give me right to brush chicken, though. Unless there's multiple- unless there's multiple gardeners. Nope, okay, he does get back up. <laughs> nice animation, bro. Um... <laughs> I don't even know. Ugh, I don't even know where it wants me to go, I guess. There was that other door. There's multiple doors I didn't get to, so I guess it'll be one of those. Also, yes, hello there. Jesus Christ. 
Christ, you run! It's honestly kind of terrifying. Yeah, okay, but so not that one. Damn. So fun fact, the Ghana was originally supposed to be playable. Three guesses why you didn't end up happening it, and the first two don't count. <laughs> I have no idea how that didn't hit you, but I'm going to be thankful. Honestly, I'm just going to... Yep. Yeah, just... Come on, small child. At the very least, you give me a bunch... Of, at least the gardener gives me a bunch of roast chicken. So that's something. I'm right here. Oh, God. Why would I think the child could keep up with me? <sighs> I have to be careful. Shit. Okay, so not that way. Not the way I came, which means this way. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Are you kidding me? I wasn't even going that fast. Oh, no. Don't go that way. No. Small child. No. Why are you doing this? I'm literally right here. What the... F where is he going? You went... Yes, good job, Henry. Go to the small corner. Where you're completely trapped and can't get out. God. I'm sure once you know where, once you know where to go, it isn't a problem. It's just the fact that you basically just, it's basically just the fact the game just went, all right, take the small child and run, and I'm like, where? Wh where do you want me to run? You need to give me a bit more direction, game. Honestly, the strategy would probably be just to, every so often, once I get to a straight, just stop to make sure that the child can actually keep up. And it also be a good chance to, um, Try and take down the gardener. Okay, right. We're back here again. I swear to God, Henry, if you go back. Okay, I hear him. Yep, there he is. Nope. Nope. Okay, which way do you want to go? You want to go this way? <laughs> okay, no. Not back into the mansion. That door's locked from the other side, which means I gotta go this way. Okay. Just trial and error. I have now made it back to the bridge where I originally got to. And there is no way to go. Where do you want me to go, child? Li literally, where do you want me to go? Took a, d a direct chainsaw hit to the head and did and did not result in immediate cross section of his brain. I'm impressed. Seriously, none of these doors work. Copper door. It is locked. Okay, 
Okay, well, if it's locked, could you open it? I thought the lady gave me the copper key to open it. Or did I not get the copper key? What? Tell me I didn't screw myself because I didn't pick up a because I didn't pick up a key. <sighs> All right. Okay, let's try down here this time. See if there's another thing that I missed. Um, well, there's two ways to go at the very least. Okay, that's a holy water, which I don't need right now. Like I said, at least he keeps on, like, dropping roast chicken, so that's something. So I need to get a bunch of those for free. That's, like, the only good thing that is happening right now. Okay, right. Please give me a key. Nope, you gave me no- Why? Why? Unless... The only thing that- The only other thing that I can think of is those small... <sighs> those, those small underways that uh, some of the um, haze measures had, which... The only one is more moderately helpful against the gardener since Wall of Flame. I mean, the gardener is not a problem. I can take care of the gardener. Like I said, the only problem right now is where the fuck do I go? I feel like I've tried every direction unless I've straight up missed something, which is entirely possible. Oh my god. Cornell, why did you turn around? Okay. I must have. I must have hit my analog stick a bit too early. Shit. You done your whole wagon? I, f I feel like I have. No, no, no. Okay, that's the bridge. Unless that's a different bridge. Yeah, I recognize this door, because this is another one where Cornell was like, I must help Henry! Yeah, so I recognize that door. Please tell me there- hang on. Tell you what I haven't tried yet. Uh, nothing. Okay. Why can't Henry escape out a different door? Who knows? He ne needs to escape out of this door. Are you seriously kidding me, video game? There's nothing. There is actually nothing. Like this one said that, that this one's stuck. Yeah, it's locked from the other side, so that's not. So that's not it. Unless. Hey, Henry, you want to go to the other side and help? No, no. Okay, cool. I am legit perplexed about what I'm supposed to do right now. I swear I've tried every single location. 
The only thing I can think of is that I missed something in the previous section because I moved too far forward and I have to go back, which means I have to let him die. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I, I, I recognize that you need the copper key because this is the only door that's like, hey, copper, di dop, copper door, so use the copper key. But I swear to God, the lady that I saved gave it to me because she's like, here, I'll give you this copper key. And I thought that was the key she gave me, which was the garden key. Because it's like, oh, there's a key on the, there's a, there's a key on the thing. So clearly she gave me the key. Okay, right. What I'm gonna do is right now, I'm just, you know what, just kill him. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take the L. I'll do some more exploring with the things that I can do. Yeah, just kill the, kill the small child. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> there are two puzzles you haven't dealt with, the Rose Garden and the Gravestones. Maybe the solution's one of them. I'm gonna go back to that lady. Because I could have sworn she said that she was gonna give me the copper key. Hang on. Okay, this is the storeroom, which I don't need to save at right now. Okay, lady, could you please give me, like, a hint? Needn't worry about me. Henry should be hiding. If you go out the east gate, you'll be able to see secret path through the forest. Please take Henry as far. Be careful. Blah, blah. Take care of my son, Yen Straight. Yeah, I know. I remember that part, but... You mentioned a copper key. I would like that copper key. Because the copper key will help me escape with your son. That's... You, you, you talked about it. That's what I need. Damn it, lady, for... For wanting to save your son, you're not really putting in a lot of legwork here. Okay, I'll do the other puzzle first, and... We're coming up near the end of the session anyway, so let's see if I can at least figure this out before we end. So we can get a nice fresh start next time. But, uh, for now, what I'm going to do is go back to the gravestones, since I got the solution to that puzzle, which I haven't done yet. Uh, let me also eat a roast chicken, because I know I will get tons of those from the gardener. There we go. Check out the nun statue. He lies my beloved son, Henry. No, shit, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. No. Please let me reset. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to read the gravestone and I fucked up. Nothing happened. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, right, so. First. It's you. And then. It's your wife. Which should be this one. And then your son. Who I let get ripped up by a chainsaw. And then finally, some random ass person who decides to walk into the house, i.e. me. And all of that was for a bunch of items, but also I see something at the top there, so hang on. The image of a rose is engraved in a stone fountain. 
Okay, well that doesn't help me out right now, that's, but that's probably for later. Okay, you mentioned the nun statue. When you say the nun statue, do you mean the nun statue in the Rose Garden? Okay, when you say the Rose Garden, do you mean the Rose Garden on Henry's side or the Rose Garden on the initial side? The Rose Garden passed this door. Okay. I will check out the non, uh, non statue though. Um, also, save my data, I guess. Ah, okay, another purifier. Sure, why not? Save the Rose Garden for next time. Honestly, that sounds like a good plan. I think this will be a fine time to end for the night, and then we can save the dumb child next time. Oh, I'm very sorry that that last, like, 20 minutes or so was just pain. I was not expecting an escort quest. You can, you can check the non-statue for a second time for an idiotic message. Alright. Portrait of a weird face. Why would anyone make this? You know what, Cornell? You're right. But yeah. That's gonna be it for today, folks. Oh, I hope you're ready for some more jank adventures next time, because who boy? Why would anyone make me do this? Joke's on me, though. I'm doing this to myself. Cool leg pros, bro. <laughs> yeah, we will beat them. Oh, it's it's not terrible. It's just like Castlevania 64 isn't god awful. It's just kind of honestly the biggest thing that I've been worried about it is it's a little bit dull. Like it's not. There's been some dumb stuff, thankfully, that we can point that we can point at and go, oh, that's stupid. But my biggest worry, especially when we get to uh, Carrie slash Reinhardt's campaign, is it's just gonna be dull. To quote Adrian, suffer for her entertainment, please. That's what I'm doing. Oh boy, is that what I'm doing. Anyway. I... I'm done for today. I don't want to play any... I don't want to play any more, if I'm being honest. To be honest, you should switch to the original Castlevania 64 for Reinhardt slash carry mode. The towers and the forest of silence are significantly different. Okay, when you say significantly different, do you mean better or worse? I don't know. We'll come to that bridge when we cross to it. For now. I just want to save this stupid child. <laughs> Bigger and more complex. We'll see. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, you know what? That's what I wanted to. <sighs> For now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end the, I'm just gonna end things off. So thank you everyone for coming on by. If anything, this is the last, like, I would say, straight up bad, like, game that we need to cover. So, hey, there's that. Like, well, you know, we'll get through it. <laughs> My soul will live on. As will all of yours. 
but it will get done. But yeah, stay safe everyone, I'll see you all next time, which will be in a couple days, where I take tomorrow to recuperate my strength. But yeah, thank you all for stopping by, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time. I need more souls. All right, Ermac, calm down. Or Shang Sun, take your pick. Uh... <laughs> okay, I thought my game froze for a second. I just realized I just needed to click on it again. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Nightmares, shake my head. I don't know Soul Calibur that well. I'm sorry. Sue me. Hey, Joseph, you, you can't sue me because I'm about to end the stream. Ha!